Hey guys, Chris Dick here. We're going to carry on with our discussion about repositories and CRUD functionalities. That's uh, create, read, update, and delete functions in our repositories. Uh, what we created last time was um, a function for reading our addresses. So that means we need to add one more functionality for uh, reading just one address. Okay, and uh, in this, we, uh, if we look at this, uh, this function that we have here, we use a query that just says select star from addresses. So straight up, that just gives us every address in the, uh, in the entire table. Okay, now if we need specifically uh, an address that is uh, based on the address ID, remember our address ID is a unique uh, uh, key. So if I call up address ID one, uh, it should only bring me up one uh, one item, and uh, we can uh, we can use that and consume that information. So we're going to add this functionality in right now. Okay. All right. So here, we're going to modify this. Uh, we're going to be returning an address. Okay. We need an integer because remember, uh, address ID is an integer. So just make that a small address because we won't, don't want to get confused with the uh, uh, address ID within the address object. Okay, it's returning an address, which means it's not it's not more than one addresses. It's uh, uh, just a one address. Okay, and we have. An address. Now, as I was thinking about this here, I don't, I don't want it to necessarily return something. Well, you know what? I'm going to have it return something because uh, what happens oftentimes if something fails during the uh, during the return and it doesn't find something, um, I don't necessarily always want it to return an empty object. I do want it to return something so uh, that we can evaluate on it, determine whether the uh, address is, is real or not. Um, so we'll leave that functionality out of uh, this repository. Okay. Um, so from here, we can start to uh, make some changes to our, our query. Now I'm going to start getting into using parameters later on, but just for the sake of doing this video, uh, I am going to do something very simple here where I simply take the address ID here and I just make my string a little bit longer. And I just simply uh, execute uh, this query. Okay, It's still a query where I'm asking for data. I'm not inserting data or anything like that yet. Okay, Now, once we have our rows, what we had before is we had it iterating over anything that it found within that query. And remember, that query would have returned multiple lines, perhaps, if there are more than one in the database. So we don't need to iterate, so we just need to read it once. Okay, so we read it once, which sets up the reader. And then uh, what that will do, so we can take this. And we do item equals, okay? So although we, we initialized it up here, this one trumps that. That just, that just says it's not, uh, the other one's not necessary, okay? And we can delete this code, change our return type to our return to items, and we can go ahead and test it in programs, program.cs, okay? Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to make some modifications because we are going to be using this uh, address repository quite often. So I'm going to create a, an ob object that we can use regularly. Okay, and I'm going to just copy the name over here. We'll make it in a small a just so we don't get confused with the main, the main object. Okay, so address repository. We'll change this old one. All right, so we have the read functionality from before, which gives us everything. Now I'm just going to add in a little bit of a little line here, so that um, uh, we can say what what's happening here. 
getting just one item. Okay. We'll uh, put in another one here, getting all items. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the next thing, we're asking for one address here. So we're going to ask for uh, address equals new. Uh, actually, not new. We're going to be asking from the repository. We're going to do read. Okay. Now you notice there's only one read um, function here. Okay. But if I push the uh, the parenthesis, I actually it shows that I have two. I have one that has a list return. And then the other one that just returns a an address right here. Okay, the one that returns an address requires an address ID. All right, and what I'm going to do because I I just used this one up here, I am gonna get a little bit cheeky here, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna simply ask for um, the first one, the first uh, element, the first. Um, the first address in my list that it returned. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit smart here, rather than trying to remember what you know what what's a good address to use. Okay, and then finally, we're going to write it out. All right, so we do address dot to string. Okay, I'm getting a lot of use out of that to string function. Okay, so this is going to first of all give us um, a, a, a very simple title, give us uh, prints out all the, the addresses in the list, and then it prints out another title, and then gives us just the first item in the list. Okay, And I already know that this is going to give us sort of a, uh, a little bit of a problem when we're trying to view what's happening there so I'm just going to put in a little blank line there all right let's go for it we'll play this let's see how my computer is working today hopefully it'll go a little quicker for me <coughs> okay so let's see what happens all right fantastic so we go getting all items so it gives us three items in our database and then get just one item. So this is returned that item exactly right there. And that's our home address, which was the first one in the list. Super. Okay, that's it for this session. We will uh, pick up on inserting data and using parameters in the next session. Remember to like and share and subscribe to my channel. We'll get you uh, very soon.